Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I am going to be attempting to, for the very first time, use my multi press um, to press a hat. So, this came um, from Amazon and it has attachments to do. I think it said 10 or 15 different things in one. It come, it came with one, two, three, four, five different um, sizes for cups and tumblers. Um, it came with, of course, the standard t-shirt press. Um, this is a 15 by 15, so it's a smaller press, which is why I don't really use it very much, but I bought it because of the versatility of being able to um, sublimate tumblers if I wanted to, um, and also other things. Um, so in addition to doing the, the tumblers and t-shirts and things like that, it also came with a part um, to do ink pens. I know it looks like I'm struggling to take these off. I'm really not. It's just, I don't wanna drop the top because as I'm unscrewing this, the entire tray comes off on the top and I just don't want it to slam down on the bottom. So it's just two little winged screws here, two little winged bolts, can you see those? that holds this top part on, which is where the heat is when you're doing your t-shirts or your um, canvases or whatever it is that you may be um, pressing that's flat. I'm just unscrewing from the top here, the power cord, I'm just, you guys can't really see that. This way. So this just has a little, it just pushes in and then there's like a little screw that kind of secures it so this little piece right here and then I'm just going to take this guy and move it out of the way so you're left with just this round top part um, to do your pressing now what I'm going to do is swing this away again and I'm going to take off this flat part there's just four screws here um, and what I noticed is that um, they're all super easy to like screw in. They're not um, super tight. Well, actually I put this together, so maybe that's, you know, why. So it was super easy to assemble and disassemble um, these pieces to be able to use the other um, parts that come with it. And back to that, there's also an attachment that allows you to print on uh, shoes. So if you have like some canvas shoes, like some Vans or some Chucks, uh, uh, what do you got, Converse's, um, or even if you buy some little knockoffs from Sheen or whatever, um, you can use those little canvas shoes um, and put designs on them. And this came with the parts to be able to do that. So I'm unscrewing from each one of these, there's four screws here that hold this down and there's also four more of these little winged nuts so I'm just taking those off. Like so this is my very first time doing this so I decided to record it to see how easy and user friendly um, this little press from Amazon was and it was super cheap. Um, I think this one was like I think it was like 150 bucks or something like that. Um, I really wanted the blue one, but for some reason, when you ordered the blue one, because I, I wanted it to match my big press over here, because um, I'm that person. If any of you guys follow me on any social media, you guys know I'm all about the coordinating. Um, but for some reason, if I got it in blue, they charged me like an extra hundred bucks for it just being blue exact same machine so the girls is balling on the budget at the time so i wasn't gonna pay that extra 
All right, now we have these, um, it's kind of like a brace, like the, I guess we'll call it like a foot part um, that holds up that bottom flat part um, that I just took off of your press. Also just winged, winged nuts that you're just gonna undo. Um, oh, your girl should have did something before she got in the camera, but you know, y'all know I don't care. I'll clean it up later. Um, so yeah, so what else does this thing do? So I told you guys it came with five attachments for the tumblers. It does shoes, um, ink pens, of course, t-shirts and things of that nature. And then additionally, um, it does plates. Um, I don't, I'm not really interested in pressing plates, but you know, I guess you could do like a memorial plate or um, like congratulatory gifts and things of that nature, but it did come with that. Um, and what else? I don't even remember y'all to be honest, but it came with a lot of different stuff that I really like the idea of being able to sublimate on ink pens because that's one of the things I want to do, um, to be able to give away when I ship out, um, you know, my clients orders. It would be nice to give them an ink pen. I'm all about branding. So if you're you know, like I said, if you're a follower of mine, you know, I have several websites and several different businesses that kind of all kind of coincide with each other. But these are, I got these from Bic for my lingerie site, where you can also find a link to become a Sip Learn Press distributor like I am and learn um, and sign up to, you know, do t-shirts and everything like that. So when you go to touch x247 um you'll be able to shop and then you'll also see a link in the top of the bar that says transfers if you click on transfers it'll take you to directly to my simpler press website where you have access to look at all the transfers that we have available if you have 10 in your head that you're already deciding to buy, you can place an order directly from there and it will get shipped directly to you. Or if you're, you know, ready to, you know, scale your own business, start your own business, then you can go on there and it shows you how to sign up. And there are a few ways, uh, ways that you can sign up. Um, there's one, we have this cool little business in a box option. Um, that is on the website and in this little business in a box i've already used most of the stuff in mine because you know your girl had to jump on it as soon as it came out but you get um you get rhinestone transfers you get some regular dtf transfer this is the one i had in there because it was when i did mine it was around um saint patty's um, here's my rhinestone transfer because I have a whole entire crush on the meth. So it's rhinestone method man transfer. I don't know what I'm going to put that on, but I'm going to put that on something, baby. Um, UV DTF stickers, which are also available on the website. These are completely waterproof, scratch proof. Um, you can use these on your tumblers rather than sublimate them. You can actually put this on any hard non-porous surface. So you can wrap your cups with these. You can put them, um, make them in bumper sticker size, but please be aware if you put this on your vehicle, it ain't coming off. Um, I'm not sure that we've come up with a way to be able to remove them if we need to, but we don't want to remove them. So right now we don't care, but these come in this size we have them in 20 ounce tumbler sizes we have them in libby jar sizes so these things are available on our website also all different kinds plus anything that you see you can actually upload a design and custom which is what i did with my qr code so i created um actually i didn't create it when i signed up as a distributor they give you a qr code so I downloaded my QR code and I made a transfer out of it. So I'm gonna show you guys because that's what I'm gonna be putting on the hat we're doing today. Um, I also, in here, we get, oh yeah, let's not forget this. So you get, with your business in a box, you get this book and it is a interactive workbook with all the information and everything that you need and including a place to put notes to learn how 
to really kind of be a boss at learning how to run your t-shirt transfer business. Um, there's also t-shirts that you receive in here. Um, you also receive, I believe, um, a, what else? What else you get in here? I think we're putting in there some screen print transfer and and just all kinds of stuff is in this box. This box is $97. And if you wanna just buy this to test everything out, because it gives you a little bit of everything that you'll be able to purchase on the website, you can buy this box on its own for $97 and then try everything that we have to offer so that you can get completely sold on the quality, on how easy it is to apply everything. Um, and then you can you know, make your decision from there. And then if you would like to be a member, there's a link that shows you to buy the distributor box plus the membership. So after you bought your box, you say you wanna sign up, you wanna be a member that following month for $49, you are now a distributor, which means now you make commission. You make commission off of the things that you purchase for yourself as well as the things that your customers purchase. You also get access to being able to uh, drop ship bags and uh, blanks of our types of clothing. You get access to all of our transfers, which I can't even tell you that in itself is enough. Um, additionally, you also receive 10 transfers in your membership box every month. You do not get to choose them, but they are going to be related to the type of transfers that you like or order. So let's just say if you're a religious person, we're not gonna send you any transfers that have like cursing and middle fingers and pot leaves on them. So they're very good at making sure that you are going to receive transfers that you're gonna actually use. So I am all about being a Stipler and Press distributor because it actually changed my life in such a way that now I am able to, you know, make money while I sleep and to support my son. Um, I'm a single mama, so I gotta do it all by myself still. And this makes it so much fun and easy. And I have so many different things. Like I got a Cricut Easy Press, the 12 by 12. And I actually, as long as there's an electrical hookup, can take blank shirts and my transfers with me and do what I call a pick and press. And I do it also at the house when I have time. What I do is I show you guys what I have right now on site. You can pick the, the image that you want. I will press it right there and off it goes to you. 20 bucks. I'm local in Jacksonville, Florida. So if you're around me and let's just say you have a shirt or a jacket or a hat or a hoodie and you saw one of my transfers that you want on your particular garment, you can still hit me up and be like, Nika, I want that transfer on a shirt that I have. You can come to me, I will put that transfer on your item and then you only pay 15 bucks. So there's, and that's just something I kind of marketed myself to be able to get rid of some of the transfers that I just had one or two of because I bought a bunch of them, like for example, for breast cancer awareness. I bought a bunch for that time. Well, breast cancer awareness, you know, it's always needing to be talked about, but we have a month dedicated to, you know, being um, aware and compassionate for that time. So of course I sell more of those transfers then. So throughout the year I have some stragglers, but there are, like I said, people who are survivors like myself, you want to have t-shirt year round. You don't care just to celebrate when everybody else is paying attention. So I have those little random transfers and that's why I decided to do the pick and press. So that way, you know, you guys have an option to, you know, pick something and I can press it. Um, I'm also going to be doing a Sip Learn Press party very soon where I am going to um, do an event. I'm probably going to do it at my house just because my big press here is super heavy to move. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I'm going to limit it to like six people. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys all the tea. We're going to go through a class. 
I'm going to show you guys the difference um, between all of the different types of mediums that we have, the press times that are required for each type of um, garment or each type of garment and each type of transfer. And then at the end of the night, you guys are going to get to pick your shirt and pick your transfer and then you're going to press it. You're going to take everything that I taught you and you're going to apply it right then. And that's going to be the kind of true way to see if it's something you want to do because once you see just how easy it is to do these shirts or jeans i have shirts i have jeans i have socks i have hats i have hoodies um my dog even has a hoodie we pressed a, a matching hoodie for him and my son and myself so we all three have the same um hoodie i think we did it around halloween so it was one of the halloween transfers but we wear it year round because we don't really care about like holidays specifically so we don't care we'll wear our stuff whenever um so look forward to that make sure you guys are following me so that you can you know stay up on what i'm doing because i'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff i'm going to be doing some giveaways um and i'm also going to be doing um some one-on-ones if you want to do that so keep your your schedules open okay so now back to this guy this is the this is the pieces for the hat so this part is going to be your power cord your power source this is the top part this is the part that gets hot so this is going to go on top and then this is where you put your hat so that it stays within that curve of your hat now i will tell you um on our TikTok live um, we did do a hat that had a seam down the middle and we made it work when I tell you we made it work we made it work but I'm telling you what if I could never have to press another hat with a seam in it I wouldn't um, because it was very very difficult to be able to get that seam to rise up enough to be able to uh, put your transfer over it where it didn't look like it was gonna crack in the middle. So what we did do is I actually stuffed a bunch of uh, used tissue paper in the hat to bring that forward so that when we pressed, it had something like this underneath of it because we did not use the hat press. We actually used this really cool um, pocket size press that Julie had purchased off of Timu. Listen, I was very skeptical about this place, but I've ordered several things. They've come and oh my goodness, she got that little press and that thing is super cute. So I'm actually thinking about adding that as one of the things that you will also receive when I do my zipper and press parties. I'm thinking about adding that as part of what you guys will get to take home. If you sign up for a distributorship, I'm gonna go ahead and probably give Oh, you guys one of those little pocket size presses so that you can just have something uh, small to try okay so let me not skip the step okay so I'm putting this um, bottom piece there's six little screws or screw holes where you're you know see the little screws coming up this goes on the middle one okay and it just slides right on and then again we're gonna go in with our winged nuts and just tighten that down this guy also gets two wing nuts this is going to go on the top and this is going to screw into our power source so let me flip this around so you guys can actually see so this is the front of the power source so this is going to go right in here you guys see that right in there and then it's got a little screw that tightens it up so before we do that though we're going to fix this guy there's two open screws right here where i took off the top lid so we're just gonna put these this on here, just like that. And then we're gonna put the winged nuts on.
just close this without the power on just to make sure I'm getting the right pressure. Now you see how that's not low enough? So on this one, we have, this is our tension bar right here. So we're just gonna screw this down until we get low enough that this is gonna apply the proper amount of tension because that's important too, guys. When you guys are pressing your garments, you, it, the heat is great, but you gotta make sure you're gonna have that pressure when you push this down to make sure that it's gonna press and not just kind of graze the top of your garment. You really want that to, to be able to take out any air. You want that to be able to take out any bubbles, any wrinkles. So, you know, that's the press and press, guys. So don't be afraid to, you know, be manhandling your machine to make sure you get that press perfect. So that should be good. So when I press it now, good, perfect. All right, now I'm gonna affix my power cord to my machine. And while this is warming up, I'm gonna go ahead and press a shirt as well because I have to send a picture to our CEO and I figured what better thing to be wearing than our business logo, right? And my QR code. So that's what I'm putting on the hat. On the hat, I'm putting the QR code on the shirt, it's got our business name and logo, all right? So this is super easy, this this thing, well, it's not gonna let me swing it now because it's a hat, but um, here, I can probably turn this back because it's like, so right here on this one, just power button, super easy. This is the temperature. Um, so let's see what I have it. I don't think I've ever used this thing, so let me see what I have it on because we're gonna put this up to our 300 for 10 seconds because we're using our DTF transfers. Um, you know what, I might not actually do 300 because this hat that I'm gonna be using, I actually have them on my, um, for my, my customers. This is a polyester trucker hat, so I don't want it to to burn it, so I'm probably gonna press this at like 260. So let me turn this back around. Let's see what this is going up to. We definitely don't want. Oh yeah, this is set to go to 400. So we're gonna take this bad boy down to. Oh yeah, that joke just got hot quick. Hey guys, listen. I know like it's not ideal to have such a small um, press to start with, and I suggest going to our website on Sifflerum Press um backslash touch x247 and getting yourself a um press from us because you can actually um you can actually bezel pay anything that you buy on the website so that means you can buy all your transfers your your business in the box your print press and you can go ahead and um, put it on Zezel so that you can fall on a budget, okay? So um, I'm gonna put the information um, of the website in this video um, on the front link or whatever, on the front page when I post this. So it'll be attached, so go there and you can get our press that we have it's lime green first of all that thing is amazing second of all it auto opens so when it's done it pops up on its own 
and it's got a pullout tray. You guys will notice that the one I'm using now is not my Sipler and Press one. This is the one I have in my garage. You have to duck and dodge because baby, this whole thing is 300 degrees. You see that? It is 300 degrees. And let me tell you, if you don't know nothing about 300 degrees, listen, you do not want to touch that. So it's a good idea to go and get our press because you can start doing your own things at home and you can do it on a budget and you'll get commission in your own pocket from buying the stuff that you need to do this. So everybody knows what we do first is we always pre-press any garment that we are going to press. The reason we do that is to get rid of wrinkles and to make sure that there's no um there's no uh moisture or anything left in there so we can get the best adhesion of our transfer as possible so 300 degrees five seconds okay just like that now our shirt is nice and flat we don't have any wrinkles no problems i'm gonna put this on the front of my shirt just right here what you want to do good rule of thumb is about three fingers down from the collar um i want mine a little higher just because i'm flat chested so when you see this on me it's gonna be boom but if you have you know a little bustier woman you may want to put it a little lower because then it'll be raised up so just you know rule of thumb and then also if you're particular um, you can go on Amazon and they have a package. Actually, we found these cheaper on Timu also. So on Timu, they have a pack. These usually come in a pack of three. So they have the adult, the toddler, and the infant size collars. That way you can literally do an exact measurement, which I would do if you do like a bulk order for um, a company. Do this so that every single one of your transfers for that company is in the exact same place. But yeah, Timu, y'all like they gonna start having to give us um some sort of you know just uh what do you call it some sort of money for them because we are always telling everybody to go there all right so now 10 seconds 300 degrees see that part Woo! gotta have your hands up baby get strong okay i don't know okay so that's it now we're gonna lift this guy up and our DTF transfers are a warm to cool peel. So I'm actually going to leave this here and let that cool off. And now we're going to go and put this QR code. Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. I knocked over the, the little bag. We're going to put our QR code on our hat. So we're going to swing back over here to this guy. I don't know why this is beeping still. I think it's, I have no idea why it's beeping. No, we're good. There we go. So the beeping stopped. Too much. I think it's because I didn't push setup. Okay, so there we go. So it should be. All right, guys, so now this is raised up. I'm going to swing it out the way. This is my hat, and here is my QR code. Um, it's completely scannable. You guys could actually, if you, you know, are not on your phone at the same time, but if you scan this, it'll take you straight to my website also. So I'm going to give this a go. Of course, you want to make sure you have your design in the right direction so that you can, you know, see it and that it's not upside down. And since this is just a QR code, I just need people to scan it. doesn't matter what direction it's going. I want to make sure, though, with the QR code, you don't want to miss any edges. So I'm going to just trim this so it's super clean and I can get it as close to the seam line as I can on the hat. Okay, so I'm gonna put that over here. All right, and now we're gonna, 
I should have swung it the other way, I think. So I'm gonna make sure it's lining up. Looks like it's good. Looks like it's gonna hit all of the edges. And be careful because this is hot. It's all right. Okay, so now we're going to close it down. Again, this is my first time doing a hat, guys. So we're going to we're gonna see. I feel like the top of this is not getting pressed as good. So I may do a second press at the top. So there we go. And I think with this one, you have to... Is it count? It's not counting down on its own. So it looks like with this one, you have to push mode and then it'll start to count down your 10 seconds. And then lift it up. Okay. And then because I don't think it got the top, I'm going to pull this down a little bit and then I'm going to press again so it gets that top. Pull it down, press mode, and it starts to count down. Perfect. All right. Okay, and there's your alarm. So that one's done. So we're going to lift this guy up. And again, this is a warm to cool peel. So we're going to let that sit there till that cools off. And because it's a hat and a sticker, you know, I'm going to wait a little bit longer so that I can make sure that it got all these edges because I do not want to miss any of the edge of the QR code. So we're gonna let that just sit there, okay? Then we're gonna come back over here to my shirt, and we are ready to peel. Just like that. You see how easy that was? How easy it comes off? The key, guys, is to not be too excited. That was a big problem for me, is I was so happy to be doing this that I would just be ready to peel it instantly. I never give it good time to cool off. Um, and especially with our rhinestone transfers, that is a huge no-no. Those have to be completely cool to the point where you wanna take maybe, what I've been doing is taking a, um, a like a little sandwich bag, fill it with ice cubes and rub it over the rhinestone transfer before I pull it. They do have um, blocks you can actually go to Home Depot and get a little sample piece of granite and keep it in the refrigerator or the freezer and use that because they have these things called cooling blocks and that's exactly what it is so okay now we're gonna do our second press which is with a Teflon sheet over top of our transfer and this just ensures that our transfer is going to be adhered make sure that all the edges are press down and that this will not peel crack or lift anytime soon okay good god Ugh. yeah you see that talk about heavy this thing Woo. all right here we go ta-da all right so that is our shirt and we're all done with that so i'm going to turn off this one i was going to put a qr code on here too but i think i'll just leave it for on the hat i was going to do one on the back but there is my sip learn press logo t-shirt all right I have to figure out why this thing just beeps non-stop because it just doesn't want to stop beeping. So maybe it's because it's hot and it's just kind of alerting us. All right, so now we're going to see about this hat situation. So we're going to peel from this corner up here. And look at, you see that? Is that good angle? There we go. You see that, guys? Look, boom, just like that. So now I have a scannable QR code on my hat. So we are always still going to do a second press. So I'm gonna take, I have a Teflon sheet that I got. 
paint on. So I'm going to cut this so that I can use it on smaller things. So I'm just making this thing small so that I can actually use this Teflon sheet and cover the hat because we are always going to do a second press on our DTF transfers. We do not do a second press on our puff transfers um, because those are three dimensional and raise up. Okay, so the re how you turn that off is mode. So you have to mode to start and then mode when it ends. And then that's when this thing will stop screaming at you. So I'm gonna put this in, my Teflon sheet on, press, press mode. It starts to count down. And this is significantly easier to pull down, as you guys see. I will lift this thing off the table before it listens to me and closes. All right, so there's our timer. So we're gonna press mode, open it up, swing away, remove our Teflon sheet, and there we are, guys. So now I have my matching walking advertisement let's see here for my business y'all let's see look at that so simpler press is in the house y'all so if you have any questions anything that you would need to know or like to know if you're interested in joining the distributorship and being a Simpler and Press member, we have a live Zoom on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard every single Wednesday where we go through and you get a live look at the information that we have. Our website, you get to look at your back office. If you join, um, you get a website that you don't have to do anything to. You do not have to update, you don't have to edit, you don't have to um, add items to, you don't have to monitor inventory, you don't have to do a thing. All you have to do is drive the traffic to your website and or you create shirts for people and tumblers and all that good stuff and earn a commission doing so. So thank you guys so much for sticking around with me and hanging out and watching me, you know, do all this good stuff. And I appreciate it. So I may, if you like it, do more videos, kind of tutorials like this. And I always try to keep them under 45 minutes because time is the one thing that we can't get back. So thank you guys. Happy crafting.